Hey friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome you to CSI Net Physics Solutions. Today we take the problem of classical mechanics based on Lagrangian and Hamiltonian dynamics. It's a problem of June 2015 part B. It says if the Lagrangian of a dynamical system in two dimensions is given as this, where L is the symbol for Lagrangian, M is the mass of the particle, X dot is the velocity in X direction and Y dot is the velocity in Y direction. Here X dot and y dot together signify that this Lagrangian is two dimensional. Then what is the Hamiltonian? Since the Lagrangian is two dimensional here, so the Hamiltonian that we are going to get is also two dimensional. And we have the formula for the two dimensional Hamiltonian. What is that? The formula for two dimensional Hamiltonian is h is equals to summation of p i q i dot minus l where i goes from 1 to 2 now this gives expanding this summation we have p 1 q 1 dot plus p 2 q 2 dot minus l since in our problem there is no q1 dot there is x dot so we will convert it into x dot and therefore p1 will be converted to px px x dot they are same things you must know this plus py into y dot minus l so these were standard notations and now we have converted them into notations those are required or uh, those are as per our problem p y y dot minus l we write down the l l is m by 2 x dot square plus m x dot y dot it's l therefore we have p x x dot plus p y y dot minus m by 2 x dot square minus m x dot y dot so this is the hamiltonian we got it this is the answer but this is not the answer because of the reason that hamiltonian is always a function of position and momentum if we write it in two dimension then it is a function of position in two dimension x and y and momentum px py but here it is obvious that the hamiltonian is a function of x dot also and y dot also so these things are prohibited and not allowed for a hamiltonian so what we do we find out the value of x dot and y dot and put the values here and here and here here and here that means we find out the values of x dot y dot in terms of x y p x p y and substitute the values at the places where we require so how to find these values of x dot and y dot so that is done by using a formula that is P is equal to del L by del Q dot. Here, since it is two dimensional, so this formula will be used in a two dimensional sense. That means separately we have to use Px del L by del X dot and we will have to use Py del l by del y dot because we are in search of x dot and y dot also so finding this we have del by del x dot putting the value of l from the first term 
we have m by 2 as a constant del by del x dot of x dot square uh, it's x dot yeah plus del m into y dot is constant del by del x dot with respect to x dot since y dot is a constant with respect to x dot that is why this is a constant here and it goes outside this gives us m by 2 into 2x dot plus m y dot here 2 2 cancel out so we have px is equals to m x dot plus m y dot so we don't have any specifically x dot value or y dot value from this okay so let us keep it maybe from here we get something let's see so py is equals to del by del y dot of l is half m x dot square plus m x dot y dot the first term m by 2 is constant del of x dot and x dot square is also constant since this is the derivative with respect to y dot so x dot is also constant and del by del y dot plus m x dot x dot is constant with respect to y dot and it is del y dot by del y dot which is left so here we have this term will give us zero so the whole term will be zero so this zero plus you may suppose this is one so the constant of der const derivative of a constant is zero and this is m x dot y dot by del y dot is one so we have p y is equals to m x dot and here from we have p y by m is equals to x dot this is what we wanted very eagerly we wanted it so we got the x dot so if we put this value x dot in here then we have the solution but no still our y dot is missing here so we have to find out y dot and substitute here so how to find y dot now using this x dot here we can find the y dot so here from px is equals to m into x dot is py by m plus m y dot so we have now this m and m cancel out to give us p y plus m y dot and thus we have p x getting it on the negative left side p x minus p y is equals to m y dot and p x minus p y by m is equals to y dot so we have it we also got the y dot so we have x dot and we have y dot and these two values we are going to put in the Hamiltonian in here so we are putting it so the value will be from here we just go on h is equals to p x x dot so p x into x dot x dot is what we have found out that this is p y by m then plus p y into y dot and y dot is what p x minus p y by m then minus m by 2 into x dot square that is p y square by m square then we have minus m into x dot x dot is p y by m into y dot y dot is p x minus p y by m so we have all these terms now from here p 
px py by m plus we do one thing p y into have px by m minus p y by m minus m by 2 p y square by m square and minus here 1 m and 1 m cut each other and here we have m p y by m and we separate this as p x by m minus p y by m and here also the m cut each other now for the next term we have p x p y by m plus now multiply this and this distribute it so p x p y by m minus p y square by m and here it's minus p y square by 2 m and it's here minus p x p y by m and minus minus plus p y square by m now you can see from here that p x p y plus by m and here it is minus p x p y by m they cancel each other and also can see that minus p y square by m and here plus p y square by m so these two terms cut each other so what we have finally is p x p y by m minus this term that is p y square by 2 m and does this match with any of our options yeah it matches with it matches with p x p y by m here p x p y by m minus p y square by 2 m this so answer is 3 so the answer is 3 thank you